it right over the plane now. Let's see if this works. Some of these tips and tricks for traveling with only a personal item are basically cheating. Now I've never had any trouble myself and chances are you'll be fine, but use them at your own risk. And let me know in the comments if you think they're a little bit unethical or if it's fair game. Many budget airlines now charge extra for even a carry-on bag, and those extra fees can add up fast. That's why when I travel, I almost always bring just this one bag. It's what the airlines call a personal item. I call it the biggest thing that I can pack without getting charged a whole bunch extra for baggage. And as an added bonus, because by definition, this has to fit under the seat. No more stressing or fighting with your neighbors for space in the overhead bins. The only problem with this bag is that it's a little bit small. So I'm going to share with you all of my tips and tricks, as well as a few straight up cheats to get a little bit more of what you need to wherever it is that you're going. Now this first tip is just straight up cheating because it consists of basically sneaking on an extra bag, a bag that you'll be hiding in plain sight. What you do is you take a food bag to carry, well, not food. You can get a paper bag from McDonald's or you can get one from some other food place or you can just take a plastic bag from home that looks like a food bag from some restaurant. Now I like to use this bag for everything that I want to have handy on the plane. Book, headphones, if I'm going to have a bottle of water that I either buy in the airport or an empty one that I fill up once I get through uh, TSA. And also, well, food. To avoid buying expensive airport or airplane food, definitely bring your own snacks and food. But don't use the precious space in your personal bag. You put them in the little plastic food bag. Now, with this trick, if you stay within reason, you should be just fine. And you shouldn't have any trouble getting this extra bag on the plane with you. The next tip is all about not bringing too much stuff, keeping it down to the essentials. So you start off by having everything in the same simple color scheme. If I wore a shirt like this three days in a row, you'd notice. If I wear a blue shirt a couple days in a row, switch it up with a gray one, you'll never know the difference. So we've got simple color scheme, blues and grays. I've got a beige sweater here, blue and gray t-shirts. It can all mix and match together. I can do a whole bunch of outfits, wear stuff a couple different times. Everything's gonna be fine. That brings us to the next one, which is what I call the Prince Harry rule. And what that means is for everything that's not socks and underwear and t-shirts, you've got a wear and a spare. So all you need is two of each, two pants, two shirts. One that you can wear, something happens, you can switch it out for the other one. Switch it back and forth day in, day out. If one of them gets ruined, stained, soaking wet, You've got the other one until you get that figured out or you're all the way home if need be. Now, how can you get by wearing the same clothes day in and day out? Well, the simple answer to that is wool. Both of these dress shirts are 100% wool. T-shirts are 100% wool. These pants are tech wear, water resistant, wool sweater. Wool regulates temperatures, keeps you cool in the summer, warm in the winter. And most importantly, doesn't retain odors. So if you need to wear it for a day or two or even three, it's going to be just fine. And in any case, you've always got the spare. Another kind of sneaky tip that's basically cheating is that you can go ahead and wear layer after layer after layer. If you need to wear three t-shirts, a shirt, a sweatshirt, a jacket, a couple of scarves, two hats, put one in your pocket, you could do that if things get tough and you're really in a bind. You could even bring an extra like cloth bag in your personal item. And when you get on the plane, take all that stuff off, put it in that extra bag. Now that one's going a little bit far, but if you get stuck and you need it, that's another tip for you. If you're liking these tips, please go ahead and hit this like button. We got a couple more left before I got to go and catch my plane. So one tip that you hear a lot, but that bears repeating, is that once you've got everything figured out that you know you're going to bring, well, you set aside all the bulkiest stuff, 
And that's what you're going to wear on the plane. So you're going to get the worst of it out of your bag. That's going to clear up all this space in your bag. So now that you know what you're bringing, all you got to do is put it in the bag. Now, a lot of people like to use packing cubes. If that's something you swear by, you can go ahead and put that in the comments. Tell me what you think of that. I prefer to just keep things simple. So I just go ahead and fold stuff up the best that I can. It's going to make it easier for me when I'm on the other side unpacking. All this stuff can just go right in, no problem. Get that extra shirt in. Want to keep him nice and flat. Make sure that even though it's a wool shirt, it's not going to get wrinkled. Toiletries, the key thing here is anything that you can buy easily at your destination, don't bother bringing it. And if you're staying at a friend's or at a hotel, uh, soap, shampoo, and a towel, not anything you're gonna need. If you do need a towel, make sure it's a microfiber, really compact one. Another really handy thing, bring a bag for dirty laundry. Check the uh, weather, if there's any chance of rain, Thing will save your life. You get stuck in a pouring rainstorm or ruin your whole trip, at least the whole beginning of it. So that's the start of it. The last tip I've got for you is going to sound a little bit counterintuitive for trying to pack a whole long weekend or in my case four days into a small bag. My last tip is to leave a little bit of space. This is just going to make your life easier. I'm going to be bringing a gift. So I'll put that in there. And if I buy any souvenirs, if at some point I need to take a sweater off and put it somewhere, I've actually got a little bit of room. Sometimes having a little bit of extra space, having that ease, being able to deal with your bag, not having it overstuffed, is more important, more interesting than having one more sweater. Now that everything's packed and ready to go, the most important thing is to go from this to this. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, subscribe is right up here. Next video you can watch is right here. Have a good trip.